Until now, local trainer Michael Chang has never had a BMW Hong Kong Derby representative. This year, not only does he have his first, he has two runners, Dibiani and Tableau. I've been training in Hong Kong at nine years. Uh, first time, first, first time, first, first time I have a runner in the Derby. Uh, actually, I got two this year. Yeah, maybe uh, try to surprise everyone. The horse most capable of causing that surprise in a hot field is Chang's Irish import, Dibiani. He goes into the Derby off a highly unusual preparation. Last week, our cameras followed the little dark brown gelding and Zach Purton very closely through a crucial turf trial over a mile at Sha Tin, in which he was victorious. So it was all he needed really. Um, Michael just wanted me to sit out the back and make sure he was switched off and just let him come through under his own steam without making him do too much. He's got the form to run the distance. Um, that's not um, a worry at all. Obviously barriers are going to be very important. Pace of the race is going to be crucial. But I'm more comfortable with him now than what I was at his last start. Uh, if the pace is going to be slow because I feel as if he's starting to get the hang of it now and, and starting to drop a bit a little bit more which is, which is what I want because quite often in these derbies they do tend to go very slow for the first half of the race and you know now that I've ridden him in this trial today I'm comfortable that he should be able to, to adapt to that and you know his best asset I think is his turn of foot he's got a really really good 200 metre sprint on him um, and then he can sustain his run to the line so you know, if they do go slow it's not going to be the end of the world but if they run along you know, it'll probably be a, a little bit more beneficial for us. And Dibiani raced to the lead from Tableau. Ongoing volatility wider out, but Dibiani, in preparation for the derby, comes on to win the trial from ongoing volatility and Tableau. When trained in Ireland, Dibiani showed his staying prowess with a stakes win over 2,200 metres at his final start before being shipped to Hong Kong. Hong Kong's current leading jockey has been along for the ride on Dibiani right from day one and knows better than anyone what the horse is capable of doing on D-Day. Yeah, well, I think he's obviously he's a top three chance at least. Um, it's just going to be interesting as to whether um, Able Friend can, can run the distance. Obviously, it's going to depend on how the race is run. We've seen last start, he has got that kink in his armour. If you do make him do a little bit a long way out, and Tommy rode a good race, and I can see him doing the same thing again. And if he does that, I'm going to be a top two fans. And, and then it'll be just up to uh, designs on Rome and myself to fight it out, and, and we'll see how we go. But obviously, I've got a lot of respect for the designs on Rome and Able Friend. They're both going to be really hard to beat. But you know, I think my bloke's up to the task, and it's just going to come down to lucky running on the day. The Hong Kong Derby is a major race that the young Australian rider has yet to win. And whilst he acknowledges it will be hard to beat the Moore team in this year's edition, he's just happy to be part of all the action. Now, unfortunately, since I've been here every year, I've just never had a chance in the Derby. It's been quite uncanny. It's, it's a hard race to, to get the right ride in. You've got to get on the right horse at the right time coming through. And unfortunately, I haven't been able to do that. But this year, I've got a good chance and hopefully I can make the most of it.